Steve has uh, gone outside. We're talking the 4th of July and what is it, a yummy treat? Yummy food, all of the above. Dessert? Yes, perhaps. <laughs> Steve, what do you have going on out there? All of the above. You absolutely nailed it. Jennifer Siegel's with me from Once Upon a Chef, joining us once again. Uh, and last time we had some fun. This time we have some dessert. Going to be even better. Holiday spirit, 4th of July. Little goodness That's and deliciousness right. at the same time. What are we doing? We are making a patriotic berry trifle. It is red, white, and blue, as you can see here. I'm not going to lie. I may have had to look up what trifle meant. <laughs> It's a layered dessert, usually with some sort of cream filling, and today we're going to use fruit. So let's just go ahead and get started. It's very okay, seasonal. very I seasonal. Love it. I've got here some strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Okay. okay. To that, we're going to add some raspberry jam. And this is just going to really enhance the flavor of the fruit. And what it's going to do is draw out the juices. And it's going to create a syrup that's going to soak into the trifle and meld all the components together. You have to let that sit for a certain amount of time? You know what? Just for a few minutes while we prepare the rest. Oh, okay? really? And it'll yes. just automatically work its magic? Yep, it works its magic. Okay. okay. So now let's move on. We're going to go to the cream filling now. So right. here I've got some cream cheese mixed with some confectioner sugar and vanilla extract. Okay, and we just already blended that already together, Already blended right? that together. So here I've got some whipped cream. So can you go the ahead and thing? add all that in? Oh. Yep. Doesn't that look good? It sure does. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, Steve, is just fold it together. And you want to fold it instead of mixing okay it in. Just go ahead and lick the spoon, Yep, right? go for it. Fantastic. <laughs> so we're folding it like this so that it stays nice and light. Okay. And keeps its volume, okay? You should have told so, me that was unsweetened, but that's oh, okay. Uh, sorry. I'll forgive the sugar's you. in here. Okay. The sugar's in here. So, you know, most trifles call for instant pudding, and this is so much better. This is made from scratch. Oh, fantastic. Okay, okay. so now we're going to put it all together. Let's layer it up. Okay, so here we, you can see we've got some crisp lady fingers in our trifle dish. Okay. So to that, we're just going to add our berries, about a third of the berries, and you want to do it so it looks pretty, okay? You don't want it splattering all over the bowl so Why you get the, the nice layers. So much than mine. <laughs> you could do it. All right, so go ahead. And Maybe you're going to add the cream. Yep. And then we're going to like spread yeah. it out I'll tell you a little what, more. Why am I the one stumping on here? Let's just dump it all in yeah, there. The there we go. Better. Okay. So then you're going to keep alternating with the layers, okay? And so then it's going to have something that looks like this. Okay. And it's something that kids can definitely help out. They can have fun with it Absolutely. as well, right? Absolutely. And it's quick and easy. I love it. So then the wafers are going to soak everything up and That's it's right. going to all wanna, blend the great together. Thing, yes. The great thing about a trifle is that mm. you make it the day ahead of time. Okay? So you and leave it in the sits. fridge and it soaks and the cookies soften Magic and it's happens. delicious. All right. Good. Okay. So we talked about the kids helping here. Yes. That's awesome for the kids, but... Uh, for us, for let's us get else. Okay, so now we're going to make a perfect party cocktail. This is a sparkling white it. sangria. I love it already. Okay, so in our pitcher here, I've got some cognac and a little orange liqueur. So to okay. that, we're going to add some sugar. And this is super fine sugar, and that's just sugar that dissolves quickly. Exactly. You can get it at the grocery store. Okay, we're going to so add some little fruit. Syrup down there. Yep. We're going to add some oranges. I've got raspberries, blueberries, nectarines. You can add whatever you like. I think I know where we're going with this. Okay. I'm going to let you do the honors. Are we going to just, like, um, add champagne, champagne to this? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I Sparkling so. wine. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Oh, I already popped it. Oh, you okay. did. All right. Just dump it in? All of it. Oh. Okay. And then we're also going to add about a cup of lemon-lime soda. Of course, because that will offset the entire bottle right. of champagne <laughs> that we just dumped in here. Did someone say champagne? Yes, Maureen, yes, an did. entire bottle of champagne. No, 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 just for you. <laughs> so, ah, is it too well early to try it? Uh, oh, no, yeah. Okay. Okay. Pour it out. Okay. Don't so, ahead. while you're doing that, yes. we want to let people know where they can find you. The website is onceuponachef.com. Jennifer Siegel, who's joined us before and has some delicious Fourth of July goodies for us. We're going to enjoy the beverages. You know what I think we should do, Holly? If only what? somebody yeah. was doing something huh. labor intensive while we had a exactly. beverage to kick back and watch, what could we do? Well, you know what? I think that, you know, 